Hey everyone, it's TTL back with another rush kit for you. Today we're going to take a look at the Regintech. I always have Regintech. I always have problems pronouncing this, but anyway, and it's the Orcus 240 liquid CPU cooler. Now, there are two versions, and you get the Orcus 240, and there is the Orcus 240 core. And as you can see, the version over here has um, uh, no fans on it. So you can get a cheaper version if you want to put your own fans on it. Now that in itself is quite a good idea, but we have the version that comes with the fans itself. Now I've pre un, well, pre un, pre, what, what the heck am I on about? I've pre cut the little sticky labels at the end so that we can have a look. And it would appear I cut the other end. There we go. Genius, we are doing so well. Anyway, so straight into the box. And, oh wow, we, wow, wow, woo, wow. So it actually comes with separate coolant. This is quite mad. I wasn't prepared for this. And then there's uh, an RGB controller at the end as well. Maybe that, that's for the fans and stuff. So you don't necessarily have to plug it into your motherboard. This is all kind of cool. Now we've got the radiator. Now one thing I will say, we've got the pair of fans here, mounting kit. If we have a look on the uh, specifications, uh, down the bottom, AM4, AM3 plus, so every uh, AMD apart from TR4, so it won't do Threadripper, and then all of the usual uh, Intel ones. So it covers everything from i9 to uh, i3, and it's 775 up. So that's all very cool. But in case you didn't notice in the blurb and the specifications from before, as I'm literally trying to take the cardboard off. I'm doing great with the cardboardy stuff today. Now, so we have the, the block. You can see that we've got a uh, nickel plated base, but there's, oh, there's a fill bung down the end. Uh, now you can see that we've got like the uh, pumpy spinnery thing here, but it's an external pump. And this is the the fan wire for the pump itself. Now I've obviously not looked, but you can see there is a bleed screw there as well. And we do have a, another screw down the bottom there. So I'm assuming that you can actually top it up because that's not enough coolant to be able to fill the whole thing. That's actually quite mad in itself. Okay, so I was a little bit concerned, but it is full up already. You can see the water that's in there. So the coolant must just be in case there's like air locks or it evaporates over time or something. Now, by taking the, the top off, if you are to use this at home, you can always get a little bit of water coming out. So I'd either advise to uh, not do this in the system itself, despite what the manual says, or you're going to need to make sure that um, you keep some uh, paper towel or kitchen towel something like that around to mop up any leaks. Um, the other thing that I would suggest as well is if you do get any leaks, turn your system off straight away just because your water can um, conduct between the pins and cause, cause shorts. Um, so this is definitely something quite unique because it looks like a normal AIO, but it's refillable, which I'm that then means is saying to me, you could put coolant dye in it to make it look nicer and stuff. I mean, uh, yes, I'm really quite surprised, but sort of pleasantly surprised at the same sort of time. I was also looking to see if there's any, uh, yeah, because this connector, this is what I was looking at. Normally I'd expect this to be a fan connector. And if it was a fan connector, then there'd be no way of lighting this, but this must just be to light it because there doesn't need to be a pump in this because it's external. So that's mad in itself. So you could, God, this is, yeah, this is very, very unique. Never had something like this before. But um, we're not going to be testing it today because obviously this is Rush Kit. This will be done on the main OC3D channel. But I do want to give it a quick light up so I can show you. Okay, so we have the lights all off. We have all the connectors plugged in. You can get a total of eight uh, RGB connectors and you obviously need one for each of the fans. And then there is a separate fan cable the fans we have powered up at 12 volts just so that they're spinning around nice. We've also given the pump 12 volts. Now what you need to remember is that isn't the pump inside. The pump is over here, but that is the little flow indicator, which I thought would spin quicker. 
Uh, but I suppose the fact that it's not spinning that fast means it's uh, not going to make any rattly noise or anything like that. But it does come with a separate remote. Now the good thing is, is there's a switch on the hub and you can uh, either have the hub to run being controlled by the motherboard, which I'm assuming you can use with Acer stuff, or you can use this. Now we've got it set to white at the moment from the switch down the bottom. And if I was to press red, green, blue, and then if we look up here, it's probably not gonna focus now. But anyway, the middle one says auto, and then on the outside it says mode plus and minus. So what you can do is go, this is auto. Now the camera may be making it look like the fans and the pump aren't quite synced, but it's just the fact that where the fans are so much brighter, the, fan, the camera is slightly picking up the fans as being a whiter color, so that's why you're seeing a slight tonal difference but to the eyes, they're pretty damn close. Uh, so that's auto, it just fades through the colors, but then we can go through modes and it's pretty much the fixed colors. And then we get to eventually yellow, pinky purpley sort of color, light blue, and then it goes white. And then when we start the next one, they kind of pulse. And I'm just gonna go through them all really quickly. When we get to white, we know it's the end one, that's the pinky color light blue, white, and then when we hit the button again, pulses through all of the colors. That one's more of a flick color rather than a fade in and out. You get the idea, don't you? But you can, there is a speed button, speed plus and minus, so you can speed it up so they flash faster. if you're not sensitive like an epileptic. And then go press the button again. So you can pretty much find the one that suits what you want to do with your rig. But the, the other thing is, is you can obviously buy, more of these are uh, Regintech fans. Uh, you'd be able to put another five in your system and connect them to this hub. Uh, and then run them all in the same sort of color. Now some of the other hubs that are on the market can only hold sometimes four, sometimes six, total objects this one can do eight which is quite cool and look at we're just going to put it back on white now but you can um there is a, a brightness button so you can turn the brightness down i am smashing the button down maybe i can only turn this one up i don't know let's have a look so i'm going to try turning the brightness down brightness doesn't appear to work okay so i've tried that we're definitely able to change colors but brightness doesn't seem to work I'm going to press the lock button. Okay, lock doesn't seem to do it. Maybe I just need to play around with it. But anyway, you can get the idea. Can we turn them off? Yep, you can turn them off completely. That's handy with an external. Um, yeah, I was putting my finger over the end because there's like a sensory thing on the end, but I was putting my hand over the end in case it was uh, Wi-Fi, which it looks like it is. So you'd be able to control that from your desk without going into any of the software as well. So if you were get annoyed in game, you could just flick it off and you could do the AIO and all your fans. I think that's quite cool in itself. Anyway, like I said, this was just a quick look around. Uh, I found it quite weird because it does come with coolant, but don't forget, if you did have the coolant, you could then add dye in, but just remember, if you add dye in, it's then gonna be quite difficult to be able to sort your colors. You'd have to know definitely, definitely that you wanted to change it to like red coolant or something. I think if it was me, I'd probably end up just changing the, uh, the RGB colors instead. But it's something for you to play around with if you wanted. Um, I know people are gonna ask me, could we add this into a, a current water cooling loop? If your current water cooling loop already had a pump in it, sorry, already had, um, if it didn't have a pump in it and you were planning on just using this, I'd say probably not. If your current water cooling loop already had a pump in it and it was quite a good one, then maybe, but it's, no, actually you couldn't because there's only really a fill port. There's no way to kind of link an in and an out. So yeah, probably not, um, which is not necessarily a shame. It is only an AIO. It's just strange that it's not completely sealed. Where it isn't completely sealed though, just keep in mind that if you do start cracking the top off of it, you are gonna need to make sure it's closed properly and you are gonna have to keep an eye on it for leaks afterwards as well. If it leaks after you've opened it, it's your fault and not the coolest. Anyway, that's enough for a little quick look at the Regintech 
AUKUS.